This video is about how to correctly replace halted turbochargers. By following these guidelines, you should have many years of trouble-free operation. But remember, regular maintenance is vitally important, which includes checking oil and filters. Turbochargers rotate at very high speeds and operate at high temperatures. One of the main causes of damage is dirty or contaminated oil entering the turbocharger lubrication system, which can result in premature failure. Let's look at how to avoid problems from the start by following the recommended Halset replacement procedure. It is important to follow these instructions carefully, otherwise it could result in turbocharger or engine failure and may void any warranty claims. When installing a replacement turbocharger, ensure that the correct turbocharger is fitted. This can be done by checking the assembly number on the nameplate. Make sure that no contaminated or loose materials are in the air intake pipework or in the exhaust manifold. Even small or soft objects will cause damage to either the turbine or compressor wheels. Take care to avoid any dirt or debris entering the turbocharger openings. If you have one of the Holset compressor mounted wastegate turbochargers, it will be preset, ready for fitting to the engine. Any adjustment will affect performance of the turbocharger and will void the warranty. But other Holset turbochargers will need to be prepared before fixing to the engine. This is known as setting the orientation or attitude. The turbocharger must properly align with the compressor inlet pipe, compressor outlet pipe, exhaust manifold, exhaust outlet pipe, oil intake line, and oil drain tube. Firstly, carefully loosen the compressor screws, turbine bolts, or V-clamp nuts only by the minimum required to be able to rotate the covers relative to the bearing or center housing. Excessive loosening could allow the housings to make contact with the rotating assembly and hence cause bent or damaged blades. To loosen the compressor cover on some Holset turbochargers, you may need to reduce the tension on the retaining ring. Temporarily secure the turbocharger to the exhaust manifold outlet flange of the engine. Rotate the bearing or center housing so that the oil intake and drain flanges align with the engine oil lines. Note that the oil drain, the larger hole, must be at the bottom. Tighten at least two bolts or the V-band to lock the center housing to the turbine housing. Rotate the compressor housing to align with the intake manifold or the air cooler pipework and again tighten two of the bolts or the V-band to lock the compressor housing in place. Remove the turbocharger and tighten all fasteners to the Torx as shown in the Holset service repair manual. It's always good practice to replace the oil when fitting the new turbocharger. Empty the old oil from the engine sump. In cases of severe turbocharger or engine damage, it may be necessary to remove the engine sump, clean and refit. Remove the oil intake pipe to the turbocharger, clean and inspect for loose foreign materials. If in any doubt, replace with a new one. With flexible pipes, it is always good practice to flush out before fitting, as loose particles of carbon may be forced into the bearing housing with the new oil. Inspect the oil drain tube for any blockages, restrictions or cracks. Replace the engine oil filter using the manufacturer's recommended specification. Be aware of low quality replacements and remember to fill the oil filter canister with oil before fitting. Remove the old gasket from the exhaust manifold and check the manifold for flatness, erosion and cracks. 
Install the new turbocharger using new gaskets and O-ring seals as required. At this point, do not connect the oil intake line. Tighten the nuts or bolts connecting the turbocharger to the exhaust manifold to the torque values recommended in the engine manufacturer's manual. Fit the turbocharger oil drain tube. Fill the oil intake port of the turbocharger with new clean engine oil and rotate the compressor impeller several times to lubricate the bearings. Now connect the oil intake supply line. Connect the exhaust pipe to the turbine housing. Then connect the compressor inlet pipe and compressor outlet pipe to the compressor casing. Refill using the oil grade or type recommended by the engine manufacturer. Before attempting to start the engine, use the starter motor to crank the engine with the fuel shut off for 10 to 20 seconds. This builds up oil pressure. Start the engine and allow it to idle for 3 to 4 minutes whilst checking for oil and air leaks. Thank you.